In certain parts of the world, nature has acted as a time capsule, preserving in almost unbelievable detail the creatures that once walked, swam, and flew millions of years ago. But how is it possible that time, which destroys everything, was so gentle with these bodies? What do these fossils reveal about the giants of the past and the environments in which they lived? Spinosaurus, Egyptus. In the scorching heart of the Sahara Desert, a secret lay buried for more than 95 million years. The fossilized echo of a colossal predator, a ghost of the Cretaceous for decades. It was an enigma, a carnivorous giant, larger than the mighty Tyrannosaurus Rex, yet shrouded in mystery, reconstructed from scattered and often disputed fragments. The original holotype described in 1915 by German paleontologist Ernst Straumer was destroyed during the bombings of World War II. What remained were only records, drawings, and speculation until in a remote corner of Morocco, fate decided to rewrite the story. The region of Tafilt, near the town of Airwood in southeastern Morocco, holds one of the richest fossil deposits on Earth. The beds of the Chem Formation, reddish rocks saturated with iron, and time preserved the traces of an ecosystem that once teemed with life. It was in this harsh yet memory-rich landscape that in 2013, a dig began that would forever change our understanding of the largest predatory dinosaur that ever walked and swam the Earth. The fossil gradually emerged under the careful hands of a team led by paleontologist Nisar Ibrahim. The work began after reports and pieces acquired by local collectors back in 2008 and 2009 revealed unusual characteristics. Some of these materials were traced, and through a meticulous effort of scientific archaeology, the original site was located and excavated with the rigor that science demands. The discovery culminated on September 26, 2014, with the publication of the study Semi-Aquatic Adaptations in a Giant Predatory Dinosaur. The magnitude of this discovery lay not only in its anatomical uniqueness, but in the completeness of the skeleton. For the first time, a well-preserved partial skeleton of Spinosaurus came to light. In the end, it was not just the skeleton of a dinosaur that emerged from the Moroccan sands. It was the rediscovery of a lineage, a glimpse into a radical adaptation to life, and a reminder that the Earth always keeps extraordinary stories waiting to be told, bone by bone. Dakota Edmontosaurus Ankins, United States. In 1999, in the state of North Dakota, scientists uncovered not just the bones of a dinosaur, but something far rarer and more revealing, the fossil of an Edmontosaurus anectens so incredibly preserved that even its skin, muscles, and tendons had resisted the passage of time. This specimen became known simply as Dakota, a true time capsule from the late Cretaceous period dating to about 66 million years ago. Unlike typical fossilized skeletons, Dakota represents a dinosaur mummy, a body fossilized not only in bone, but in soft tissues that usually vanish quickly after death. The result is one of the most complete records ever found of a hadrosaur, the herbivorous dinosaurs known as duckbills. The Dakota mummy is a nearly impossible gift from nature. Decomposition, usually relentless, appears to have been delayed by perfect environmental conditions. The animal's body was quickly buried in mineral-rich sediments, perhaps in a riverbed or muddy floodplain, protecting its tissues and contours from scavengers and time. This triggered a fossilization process that captured not only the shape, but the very essence of that extinct organism. Dakota's skin, for example, displays scaled patterns like a mosaic stretching along its flanks and limbs. It is not just a rock impression, it is a three-dimensional relief that tells stories of texture, camouflage, and adaptation to its environment. These scales allow scientists to infer what Edmontosaurus actually looked like, something previously left to imagination. For the first time, science could truly see it. But Dakota revealed even more. By preserving muscles and tendons, 
the fossil offered clues about the animal's biomechanics. By examining the fossilized muscle contours, paleontologists estimated the size of its leg muscles and the power of its hind limbs. This allowed calculations of its running speed, revealing that despite its massive size, about 40 feet long, Edmontosaurus could reach up to 28 miles per hour when moving. These findings challenged many assumptions about the agility of the great herbivores of the Cretaceous, giant ground sloth with fur, Patagonia, Argentina. In the frozen remote heart of Argentine Patagonia, an extraordinary discovery emerged from the depths of time. Buried beneath the dense dark layers of an ancient peat bog lay a relic of a lost world a giant ground sloth whose fur, muscles, skin, and claws had been miraculously preserved. A fossil so intact, so astonishingly complete, that it looks as if it had fallen asleep only decades ago, not more than 10,000 years. The discovery was made in 2020 when a research team from the National University of Southern Patagonia explored a swampy region in Southern Argentina. The expedition, initially aimed at studying Pleistocene cold ecosystems, could never have predicted that their shovels and probes would uncover one of the best preserved fossils ever recorded in South America. The giant ground sloth, belonging to the genus Mylodon, not only retained its nearly intact skeletal structure, but also exhibited remarkably well-preserved soft tissues, including skin darkened by time and tufts of brownish-gray fur. This exceptional preservation was due to a rare and powerful natural factor, peat. Composed of partially decomposed plant matter, peat creates an anaerobic and acidic environment that dramatically slows biological decay. In the freezing temperatures of Patagonia, these factors combine to create natural time capsules, places where the remains of extinct creatures lie dormant protected from the action of bacteria and fungi for millennia. Reaching up to 13 feet long and weighing more than 2,200 pounds, the giant ground sloth was a formidable creature. Unlike its modern, smaller tree-dwelling descendants, it ruled the forest floors and open grasslands, feeding on leaves, roots, and shoots. Its enormous claws, still curved and sharp in the newly discovered fossil, were not only used for digging and reaching vegetation, but also for defense against extinct predators such as saber-toothed cats and the fearsome short-faced bears. The fossil revealed not only the physical aspects of the giant sloth, but also crucial clues about its behavior and habitat. Soil analysis around the remains indicates that the animal died in a swampy area, probably during a migration or while searching for food. The posture in which it was found, lying partially on its side with its limbs bent, suggests a quick death, perhaps as it sank into the unstable peat layers. But what is most striking is the integrity of its tissues, still fibrous muscles, thick leathery skin, and tufts of hair with preserved coloration. The skull of the Pliosaurus. In August of 2022, beneath the rugged cliffs of the so-called Jurassic Coast in Dorset, England, a fossil emerged from the rocks like a capsule from the past. There, preserved in astonishing detail, was the skull of a Pliosaurus, one of the most fearsome marine predators of the Jurassic period. Just the skull itself, measuring about six and a half feet long by two feet wide, was a revelation on its own. But what made this find truly remarkable was its state of preservation. Approximately 95% of the cranial surface remained intact. An archaeological feat made even more extraordinary considering this was a creature that lived more than 150 million years ago. Every bone, every groove, every tooth had survived, as if time had bent itself to protect this being from a distant past. The Pliosaurus was not just any marine creature. It was the apex predator of Jurassic oceans a super predator that glided through the water with a lethal mix of strength, speed, and intelligence. Its sharp teeth, about 130 in total in this specimen, formed a perfect trap for any prey daring enough to cross its path. And now, for the first time, 
scientists could study them with unprecedented clarity. The complete jaw with both arcs perfectly aligned offered answers to questions that once seemed beyond reach. What was the muscle structure that powered its bite? How did the bones articulate to generate such immense force? How much pressure could it apply when seizing its prey? Questions that for decades existed only in theory and computer models could now be confronted with physical evidence. The discovery site, a geological formation known for its paleontological riches, did not disappoint. The Jurassic Coast, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, has produced countless discoveries over the years, but none as complete, precise, and spectacular as this one. The sedimentary layers of the cliff where the fossil was found tell the story of 185 million years of Earth's history. Lystrosaurus. In the scorching south of South Africa lies a primordial fragment of Earth's biological history. There, in the fossil-bearing layers of the Catberg Formation, a geological division that forms part of the legendary Beaufort Group, scientists uncovered a relic that connects eras, articulated, mummified, and nearly intact skeletons of a peculiar creature that dominated ecosystems after the greatest mass extinction ever recorded. Its name, Lystrosaurus. Dating back roughly 250 million years, right after the end of the Permian and the dawn of the Triassic, Lystrosaurus walked a devastated Earth. While over 90% of marine species and 70% of land species perished, this animal re-emerged as a survivor. Its name, meaning shovel lizard, reflects its flattened head and snout adapted for digging. But it was in the reddish sandstone of the Catberg Formation that paleontologists uncovered not just bones, but astonishing testimonies of a life that seems to have ended only yesterday. Fossils of Lystrosaurus murrii and Lystrosaurus declivis appeared in excavations with a degree of preservation that defies time itself. Impressions of skin, body outlines, and skeletons in articulated positions as if the creatures had simply fallen asleep beneath the sand and never awoke. These discoveries are extraordinary, not only because of their preservation, but also because of their context. Studies published in 2022 describe a nearly cinematic scene. Multiple individuals fossilized together, their bodies scattered in death poses with limbs extended, a configuration scientists call spread-eagled. This type of fossilization suggests a sudden death, possibly caused by a sandstorm, landslide, or rapid burial during a seasonal flood. The preservation of skin in these fossils is in itself a milestone in paleontology. Normally, soft tissues decay long before fossilization can occur. But in these Lystrosaurus specimens, researchers identified surface textures, dermal folds, and even patterns suggesting environmental adaptations. A thick, wrinkled hide, perhaps an evolutionary response to an arid, unstable climate the kind of world where only the most resilient could survive. And that's exactly what Lystrosaurus did. It survived, adapted, and thrived. Uteranus Huali, China. Its name, meaning beautiful feathered tyrant, already hints at the complexity and allure of this creature. Measuring about 30 feet long and weighing up to 3,100 pounds, Uteranus was for a long time the largest known dinosaur with direct evidence of feathers. A colossal predator that strode majestically through humid forests and volcanic landscapes around 125 million years ago, during the early Cretaceous period. But what makes Uteranus so remarkable is not just its size or its role as a dominant predator within its ecosystem. It's the astonishing preservation of its plumage. Yes, feathers. Delicate filaments fossilized in fine detail, distributed across several parts of the body, the arms, neck, back, and even the tail. These unmistakable markings shattered the traditional stereotype of dinosaurs as exclusively scaly reptilian creatures. The fossils, three nearly complete specimens, were excavated with millimetric patience. 
each layer of sediment removed revealed not only bones, but also impressions and carbonized remnants of the original body covering. This uncommon preservation resulted from the specific geological conditions of the Yixian Formation, a region rich in volcanic ash and fine lake deposits that acted as natural time capsules. When scientists examined Uteranus, they found structures resembling primitive feather filaments similar to those seen in smaller theropod species. The difference? This dinosaur was gigantic. Until then, feathers were believed to be exclusive to small dinosaurs, perhaps serving for flight assistance or thermal regulation. Uteranus proved that even large predators bore plumage. This revelation had profound implications. In this context, the feathers likely had nothing to do with flight. For Uteranus, their function was probably related to thermal insulation, visual communication, or even sexual display a cloak of filaments that transformed the creature's appearance, possibly varying in color and density with age, six, or environment. Allosaurus Jimidseni, Big Joe. It was the year 2015 when a team of paleontologists uncovered, almost intact, the skeleton of a predator that roamed the plains of the late Jurassic more than 150 million years ago. Its name, Allosaurus Jimidseni. But this particular specimen would earn another name, a nickname worthy of its grandeur, Big Joe. Big Joe is not just another fossil. It represents a milestone in modern paleontology. Approximately 95% of its skeleton was recovered, an exceptionally rare achievement among large carnivorous dinosaurs. Even more precious, the discovery included fossilized fragments of skin, offering an unprecedented look at the texture and appearance of this prehistoric predator. Such details are typically lost to the vastness of time, obliterated by millennia of pressure and erosion. To understand Big Joe's importance, one must first grasp the world it lived in. The late Jurassic was a period of immense ecological transformation. Earth was dominated by lush forests filled with cycads, ferns, and conifers, a paradise teeming with life, both gentle and deadly. In this fertile yet dangerous environment, Allosaurus jimidsani stood as one of the top predators at the pinnacle of the food chain. At about 26 feet long and weighing more than 3,300 pounds, Big Joe was a formidable hunter. Its sharp, recurved teeth set within powerful jaws indicate a specialized carnivorous diet. Its claws were razor sharp, its arms short but incredibly muscular, and its forward-facing eyes revealed a creature built for active predation, agile, strategic, and lethal. What truly sets Big Joe apart from other fossils, however, is its state of preservation. Unlike so many fragmented or distorted remains, Big Joe's skeleton maintains its structural integrity and even offers rare evidence of soft tissues. Impressions of fossilized skin reveal a scaly covering with subtle textures, suggesting a thick hide, perhaps with colors and patterns that allowed it to camouflage among the forest shadows.